If you're thinking about another easy way to incorporate chicken on your flat top grill, tequila lime chicken tacos. Absolutely fantastic. It packs a ton of flavor with simple ingredients. You guys stay tuned. Really quick, let's just go over the list of ingredients. Obviously, tequila lime chicken cannot start without tequila. All right, little pit ball Southwest rub. I'm, this stuff's growing on me day to day, every day. Like it, like it, like it, like it. All right, uh, plenty of limes. We have a half of a seeded diced jalapeno, some cilantro, some garlic, a little bit of sugar. Uh, we have leftover chicken thighs from the day before, and I've just split some chicken breast. I get told all the time that people would like a recipe, and I do not make recipes. I don't cook recipes, I just throw stuff together and hope it comes out, and nine times out of 10, we got winners. Today, I'm gonna try my best to give you guys a recipe. All right, so here we go. First things first, it's very important. I'm gonna try two hours. I'm gonna try two hours. It might be a little bit of hair shorter because my kids are getting hungry, but two hours is the golden key, all right? For marinating. Yes, I've already forgotten what to bring out here. Not used to having the measuring cups. It's just something else to bring out here. But I'll promise you, we're going to try to get it done. All right, it's very important to let your chicken marinate. This is very, very, very strong, flavorful. You don't want to overcook your chicken. So, half cup-ish. If a little bit more accidentally goes in. Whoops. Hey, you're already starting off bad for the recipe, honey. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is a recipe. <laughs> it's the idea of a recipe. We can always fine tune it. I'm gonna go about a quarter cup of, um, let's see, uh, olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil to be exact. <laughs> <sighs> She's wearing me out. Good tablespoon of the seasoning. Just make the, whatever taco seasoning you like. I really like that stuff. Ballpark it. Half a cup of chopped cilantro. Like I said, half a diced seeded and all the membrane taken out jalapeno. If you like the heat, keep the membranes and stuff in. I'm going to squeeze my limes. This is uh, two and a half limes, but if I tell you two and a half limes, somebody's going to say, well, what if they're dry or wet? Which means some have more moisture than others. So we're just going to squeeze them out and see what happens. All right, give or take, I would say probably a quarter cup. Just right in there. Now when it comes to sugar, this is also gonna help your chicken caramelize. You're trying to balance the tartness. It's not like the fact you're trying to make it sweet. So I'm just gonna put two teaspoons in there. We put garlic, we haven't put garlic in there. When I say a tablespoon, I know what I'm talking about. All right, let's give it a mix. Mm. Mm. I'd probably say a little bit more sugar, actually. Yes. You can <laughs> only taste that tequila. <laughs> I'm going to be filming like this. <laughs> Make a clothes fall off. <laughs> PG now, PG. So how much sugar did you put in? Four of them. So a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Three tablespoons equal a teaspoon. Three I mean, teaspoons. three teaspoons equal a tablespoon. So one tablespoon plus one teaspoon, give or take. You guys can adjust the taste for what you like. I think it's better. It's more balanced. You're looking for more balance. Mm -hmm. That's good. I did not add salt and pepper because this is so loaded with flavor. I'm actually probably going to come back in and add another tablespoon. Just like that. Now that your marinade's done, we got those boneless, skinless chicken thighs that we used the other day. I made that chicken cordon bleu sandwich. You guys seem to really enjoy it. So just dunkaroo with your chicken. Like I said, we're gonna marinate for, we're shooting for two hours. Just like with any recipe, you kind of make uh, changes as you go. I'm just gonna add the carcass of the lime, the skins, the rinds, whatever it is, and just let that chicken go. All right, now that our chicken's marinated, it's been going for about an hour. 
We got leftover pico with pineapple that was done with our tostadas, tostadas, tostadas bar we did for Cinco de Maya. I just added a little bit more fresh onion and tomato just to build a little bit more volume. I always try to teach you guys something when we're cooking. This is no different. When you open a can of um, jalapenos and adobo, chipotle adobo, right? It's a smoky flavor. What I do, since we'll never go through the whole jar before it goes bad, I'll take one or two adobos with about a, a spoonful of sauce and I'll freeze them in individual bags. And so when I wanna use one or two peppers, this is a perfect way to get it out of the freezer. And then you can see that we've actually labeled it just in case. So I'm gonna take, I've got about a quarter cup of sour cream. I'm just gonna take one adobo. This stuff is very strong for the people that like spice or for the people that don't. Watch out. And then I'm just gonna mix it together. What do you mm. think? It gives you the smoky flavor that I think you need. Since we use the griddle, we lose the advantage of having like charcoal or, or the pellet wood, the, the smoky flavor you would get. And this, this literally just adds it right back in. It's not overpowering. I'm actually gonna go ahead and mix the rest of the pepper up because I was worried about it being too hot. Flat top's been preheating, it's on low. We've given our chicken about an hour to marinate. I was worried, you kind of see how we're starting to get white. With all the acid from the tequila and the lime, you, you worry about it overcooking. So I definitely don't want it to overcook. You guys can tell our flat top's hot. What temperature it is, I have no idea. It's hotter than it should be, we'll be fine. Get a good crust on that chicken. Make sure each uh, piece of chicken has its own space to cook. Don't overcrowd the, the griddle. See that color? That's what we're looking for. Just like that right there. Just remember, once you flip them, your chicken breasts are gonna cook a lot faster than your chicken thighs. For the uh, new grillers out there, it should go without being said. When you're checking your temperatures, check all your pieces. They're all gonna be different thicknesses. They're all gonna be in different hot zones. Don't check one and just assume they're all the same. When you're checking your temperatures, obviously you're gonna check fat spots because you know that the fat spots gonna take longer to cook. But um, if you remember in my flat top grill must-haves, this is one of them. I'd much rather know the temperature of the food I'm cooking versus the temperature of the griddle. Um, so I just think it's just very important. You guys can always check the link down below. We talk about cleaning as you go. Perfect example of the flat top still hot. Take your good wooden spatula or scraper and go and get those bits off the flat top while it's still warm. I've already cleaned the flat top. We got the one piece that's being stubborn. Everything's off with the residual heat. I'm going to go ahead and toast and warm up some of these tortillas. You guys can use corn, flour, whatever you want to use. We're actually using low carb today because we do the Watch our carbs a little bit. I'm just going to cut this chicken up now that it's rested. You definitely want to do not want to do this while it's warm or while it's hot because you want all those juices to redistribute back into the meat. You're cutting all this up. Well, and I just want I just to want to I just want there. to show you the char that we're able to get, and that's because probably you know not necessarily the proteins as much as it was the sugars since there was so much liquid. Here, try this bite right there. But it helps that sugar caramelize. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, honey. <laughs> but it balances the sweet, the, the tanginess. Oh my gosh. That's good chicken. That's probably some of the best chicken that we've made in a long Golly, time. Golly, you really know what you're doing. <laughs> oh man. Let's start a YouTube channel. Oh. Golly, give me another piece. 
I don't even want it on a taco. I just want the chicken. Mm. You can make this recipe and put it on a salad. Oh man, that'd be Saute good. some peppers and onions. Almost like a chicken fajita style salad. God, give me another piece. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was good chicken. She was worried that the tequila. I was really worried because when you taste the marinade before putting your raw chicken in there, obviously, it's very tequila y. It's very, it's very strong. What? Tequila y. But that is perfect. All right, guys, there you go. We got the chicken cut up, a little bit of cilantro. We got our pico left over with that pineapple. We've got that uh, sour cream with the chipotle pepper in there. And I've just got a little bit of cheese on the side. You guys want to build them? Yes. Let's go. We've got sour cream on the bottom. kind of helps hold that chicken. Hit your tacos a little bit of that pico as much as you like. Just try to make sure that the juices aren't, see how much juice there is? Keep that out of it. We love cilantro, so just a little bit more cilantro. Really, I don't even know if it needs the cheese. Just a little bit of cheese. Takes one of them. There is so much freaking flavor. I don't know if I've ever had a chicken taco this good. And I've had good chicken tacos. The flavors, the pineapple for some reason just makes it pop. You get the smoky flavor from this. Everything that you want to taste is there. You can actually taste the cheese. Everything's balanced. God almighty. Best chicken taco you've ever eaten in your life? Yeah. Let me taste. You guys get that? I'm not cutting that out. Mm. That is the perfect blend of flavors. Oh, that's so good. That chipotle and adobo, the, the one little chipotle pepper and adobo with the sour cream. Hey guys, there you go. Incredible tequila lime chicken tacos. Incredible. Seriously, you need to make them. These are fantastic. One of the best I've ever had. Just saying. Hey, find us on the Griddle Group on Facebook. Tag us. Let us see what you guys are making. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends.